How's it going everyone? This is Winbo. Congratulations on you finishing the 30 days modeling challenge with Winbo. It is a huge thing. Think about it. You know, the model is really easy to create on a single tutorial. But if you're doing that at 30 days straight, man, that's a lot of commitment. And I've seen a lot of creatives who has done some amazing jobs doing renders and even animations. It just blows my mind. I want to give a big shout out to all the creatives who have finished the 30 days modeling challenge. This is just the midpoint of the modeling challenge because I just finished uploading all 30 days modeling challenge video series for all of you guys. And you guys still have another 30 days to finish actual challenge. So if you're kind of running late or you just found this channel recently, you are still not late to join the modeling challenge and learning Blender and doing small modeling projects every single day for 30 days straight. So I guarantee that you're going to learn a lot and that you're going to have a lot of fun. And for this video, I want to use this opportunity to do a quick recap for the midpoint and also want to share some thoughts about what I've learned as a creator during the 30 days. Uh, one thing I really want to point it out is I think there are a lot of advanced users or creatives who are just not really get into the habit to share their work and they're super creative and I know their skills way beyond what I'm offering because the modeling challenge is primarily opening for the beginners but they are pretty advanced user are still participating in this modeling challenge which is kind of surprised me seems like they are having fun to creating projects on a daily basis uh, I'm pretty proud because through this modeling challenge I met so many creatives who are participating and share their thoughts. Now, one major problem that I've been seeing among the creative is the lack of consistency or lack the patience of being continuous improvement on their craft. It's simply because there are so many distractions around our daily lives. And when you actually start learning a tutorial or doing a project, you feel excited at the beginning because you pumped and you know, oh, I, if I'm following this tutorial online, I should be able to get the same result. There are a lot of tutorials out there. They're focusing on the end result of how to following a tutorial. They are not trying to build the learner to building the consistency of practicing their craft on a daily basis. So this is the kind of one reason why I creating the 30 days modeling challenge for you guys. This is just something I want you aware. It's not about you're not being creative. It's probably because your lack of a consistency. So you are not able to be competent on your craft. So you basically just losing the ability to really getting your ideas out of your system, out of your mind to make it into a real visuals. That's something I hope this 30 days modeling challenge have helped you to figure that out and also conquer this kind of barriers. And then there are a couple questions that have been frequently asked. So I want to address here in this video. One of them is like, how can I learn Blender faster? I made a video based on my personal experience. It is the faster way to learn in Blender. You can follow this link to watch this video. I just can answer a lot of questions on how to learn it fast. If you want to have a quick answer from me, that will be, you have to keep learning simple and that you have to enjoy the learning process. Just making sure yourself is mentally loose and there's not a whole lot of stress when you're learning a new skill. I know it can be pretty exciting to start it, but it's really challenging to go through the process to really achieve stuff you want. Be prepared mentally when you start doing any project, you will hit some blocks and on the road. It will definitely gonna make you feel like, wow, it's so much challenging because you are so exciting to get it started and you are pushing yourself 100 miles per hour and just gonna go fast and without taking a break and until you realize, oh, it's been like six hours in and then you realize, well, the frustrations come in from your body and mental, everything is just not clicking. And then you eventually ended up quitting. You wasn't able to finish a exciting project for you. So making sure everything starts simple and to keep it yourself loose and having fun when you're learning it. That it will be the fast way to learn it. Another thing I want you guys to see in the big pictures. So when you do any project inside of Blender, you basically need to do modeling, texturing, rigging, lighting, and animations, and compositing, rendering. There's a lot of stuff going on. This is called the pipeline. That's why it's, it's a long process. And in the real 3D studio, actually there will be a designated artist or a team to doing one single thing. It's like operating a restaurant, 
right? You have cook, you have waiter, you have managers, and all a lot of things going on on each sections. So if you are just new to the 3D world, or you are probably a photographer just getting started to learning CG or learning Blender as a hobby or anything, Blender is offering the entire restaurant just for you, for one person. You know, you can take your time to do everything yourself, eventually to render out the final products for your customer, for your clients, for your viewers, whatever, right? So that can take a long time to do. And if you kind of like really wanted to make everything perfect, then each section, each steps is gonna take a way longer than it used to be. So my advice to learning something quicker and just dive into this and seeing the big pictures and to start testing some of that and then figure out which part does that fit you the best for your interest. And your learning need to be based on your interest. It's not need to based on what the teacher said. So you need to making sure to understand what do you want to learn and what do you need to know. For me, I know nothing about rigging. I'm just kind of try something on the sculpting side and I'm not really into the uh, rendering animations that side of the world yet because I am coming from a photography background. I'm looking for one single still image or one single frame renders for while using the Blender. And I like to do compositing inside of Photoshop not in the After Effects and anything else. Anyway, so it's not related to the animation or video. So this is a kind of my niche and I really focus my energy into specific area, modeling, texture, and lighting. This is something that I put a lot of effort to learning. And in this way, it suddenly it's kind of clear up the cloud and you actually know what can you do and what can you learn. And you eventually going to be the expert where you do much better than most people in specific areas in this pipeline. Okay, so this is my shorter version of how to learn Blender faster. Just cut off the things that you don't need to learn and to keep everything simple and having fun. Another question, self-doubt. I love this topic so much because I went through a lot of this moment and we actually have the self-doubt moment. I want you guys first thing to just recognize it. It is a, such a natural thing. It's natural part of a human being, human brain, and we will have self-doubt moment. And regardless you are how successful you are, you're still going to have this self-doubt moment. Uh, however, it's being called moment is simply because it will pass, you know? It will pass along your emotions and everything along this day, and it will go away. So do not sit yourself into that moment for too long or become a habit to self-doubt yourself too much, too often, okay? So I really want you guys to be aware this is such a natural thing. And second, a lot of time when you are self-doubt, you just don't have enough data to making sure your decisions has been made correctly or based on the previous, you know, event happened in your life, anything. Well, what I've been thinking how to solve, how to solve this is just like the time goes, but you need to put yourself into work and having fun. You need to posting your work, you need to, to share with someone, you need to get some feedback. But don't take the feedback too seriously because you know this entire process, you have full control, you are just to getting the ideas out of your mind, out of your system, just trying to practice in your craft. So within that mindset, uh, when people are judging about your work, criticism, if there's something you think is usable, take it. If not, then just live it like that. So it doesn't really matter because everything is never going to be perfect or fully formed in, in some perspective. So all you need to do as a personal development, you're just gonna keep going, keep doing. But the main focus to getting rid of the self-doubt, just keep doing, keep trying, and keep having fun. All right, this is everything I wanna share in this video. Thank you so much for watching. And to the end of August, I will be sharing some artwork from the artists who are participating in the 3D modeling challenge in this channel. I already seen some really good works coming out on this modeling challenge. And also another 30 days challenging series is gonna coming up. I'm still marinating the ideas, getting the things organized. And at the same time, I'm also producing a brand new pro course uh, in coming up. So making sure you're staying tuned and thank you so much for watching and supporting. And I will see you soon in the next video. Bye.